Hey guys, Fox here, and welcome to a new video. Welcome to the world of Otherworld. Now, this is a fan made game by M36 Gaming slash Gaming. I'm sorry, dude. I like your games, but I can never remember your name properly. But a few months ago, I played uh, a Peck fight. And then the few months before that, I played the very first demo of the game, and I enjoyed them both, and, you know, each time he got an update, he, he let me know in the comments, hey, after this game, I'm gonna check it out. And he did it again a few days ago, but I was blind and didn't notice that until today. And I was like, hey, he has a full demo out right now, so I wanna try it. I also did read a little description of it, and because I do want to, once this game gets fully released, do an entire playthrough of it, and I want to do the genocide route, and in the description I need to explain there's a certain room I need to focus on killing to get the genocide route. It's just an idea of what's going to happen during the full release, but yeah. Thanks for letting me know the game came out, because I honestly forgot the name, the name of the game, and I've been looking, trying to keep updates on it. And let's begin! Name, The Fallen Child. Oh, we're still underwater. No nice flowers to lean or fall. We have a stroke if I move any other way. That's great. Oh, he lived. Can I, can I go in the water? No, no water for me. I mean, these are some nice gems, not gonna lie. I mean, I wouldn't complain about having gems in my floor. Gotta scoot up to my mic. Because I'm being quiet today. But yes, let's begin. So yeah, there are things to kill before we get to that certain room. I don't want to spoil it too much for you guys. But until then, um, I'm going to kill things anyways, even if they don't, since even though they don't affect genocide route. The sign reads, warning, there is a giant hole in this room. Be careful. I wonder where the hole is. I can't walk off. That's water, that's not a hole. Ah. That looks more enticing, but I'm gonna go this way first. I can't check out these things. Why can't I look this way? Oh, it's got a weird hitbox. It's got a really weird hitbox. The sign reads, To Undyne's House. The path appears to be blocked off by a bunch of rocks. What a shame. You wonder who Undyne is. Isn't that from Ash Undertale? I haven't played it in forever, I can't remember. Which also brings me to a good point. I am considering, because I've done all the routes personally. I've only recorded me doing the, the true genocide route. Total genocide route on the channel. I'm considering going back to Undertale and doing the true pacifist with you guys. Because it was actually a pretty fun route. It's a lot longer than Genocide, definitely, but it's pretty worth it, if you ask me. I, I can't pick up the pickaxe, not be my weapon? That's a shame. The sign reads, this way to Kitty's house. Don't bother coming in if life is of any importance to you. Oh. Hi, Kitty! I like that little tone to it, though. Um... Who? What are you? A human? No way! Hi, I'm Kitty. Nice to meet you. Dum, dum puns. You're new to the ground, huh? No problemo. A little friend helped me teach humans how things work around here. Well, first, press E to talk and check things. Press X to cancel and make text move faster. Or instant fear. You can also press C to open up neat stacks and stuff. Sadly, there are no weapons or armor you can equip. So I guess that ring jacket and that knife. They will have to do. Hey, follow me to my house is just up, up ahead. I will teach you how fights work too. Well, see you there. And then she just takes her music with her and just ver sails off. I'm calling it now. Kitty is this world, this game's version of Flowey. Okay, so this is my home. Do you like it? Silence is always an option, I guess. Telltale Games taught me that. See that dummy to the right? It's a training dummy. Really? 
So you can smash the bit and it won't matter. Okay, so fight. Basically, a monster will come over and try to murder an innocent child. So in self-defense, you smash your face to a pulp! Until all that's left is a pile of dust. Then you take that dust and mail it to their parents. If they aren't dead as well. Oh. That one dark. <laughs> and anywho, you take their money. And you get XP in level... They stand for experience and love. Oh, I, so I always say level, even though I know what level is love. And when they try to attack you, you gotta dodge your attack. But knowing you, you already know that, huh? So just, uh, go to the dummy now. Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna fight a dummy. You approach a dummy. Fight it. This is honestly, Otherworld is definitely one of my favorite fan-made remake uh, games from Under Undertale. Oh, he did something. Uh, well, follow me. Oh, hello. There appears to be a work table. There's a diary on the flat table. You decide to read it. Dear diary, why do I keep writing in here? Today was horrible. I had to leave him. I found out the truth. I am one of those things. Why didn't he tell me earlier? The rest of the pages are torn or rubbed away. Okay, then. The bed has dust on it. Kitty isn't very tidy. There appears to be a dresser. But she's a cat. Why would she need clothes? You know, don't you? You couldn't tell before? All the white, the lack of detail? Still no? Perhaps I should tell you what I am. Yes, I am... No. It's not useful to tell a story to someone who will be dead in a couple of minutes, huh? I mean, you could always say it anyway, so I'm curious. What are you? Other than a cat. If you're actually a pretty, a pretty adorable cat. Goodbye, kid. You saw us coming. Oh my god. I did. Kitty stands in your way. Cry. You cry for help, but nobody came. Nope. 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 How you dodge that? Oh, you're some... He is confused. Psych! I wanted to kill you all along. You won. You earned 30 XP and 21 gold. Oh. Oh, dang. The sign reads, please stay in the path. The sign guy. I'm a rebel. Is anything gonna fight me here? Or what's going on? Does anything fight me here? Hello? The sign reads, when life gives you lemons, you eat the lemons. Because lemons are actually quite good. The sign guy. They actually pretty are good. Are pretty good. Peekaboo! I knew it'd have that. I didn't really. I was just hoping. This abandoned area of the past. It fills you with curiosity. HP fully restored. Save. The sign reads, Beware the dangers ahead. The sign guy. Zipzook's lair is scribbled on the, the sign. Okay, then. Nah, 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 I might speed through, do a few fights of that room, and then speed through. Ooh, speaking of fight. Buggy bot waddles in. I don't care, you're gonna die. 13 speed, 1 gold. Nice. 10 gold. This way to the ruins, the sign guy. Thanks, sign guy. The sign reads, didn't I already tell you this? The sign guy, you did. The sign reads, if you're reading this, I am sorry. I'm sorry I cannot come to your aid. Please stay safe, my child. I believe that that's an undying thing to say. I'm sorry I remember a little bit of you and dying she's the goat lady. The switch does nothing. It fills you with curiosity. I mean, technically, I suppose? I like this room's music. Peek-a-boo! Oh, hi. 
That's horrifying. Spooks jumps out of his box. I like Spooks music. God, it's like... Hey, what's up? Am I about to get wrapped on? Is he about to wrap? Is he gonna wrap? You are a human. Woo! I like Spook's music. One more hit. Keep it up! Oh my god, it's dumb beats! I, I don't see where you- Oh, you gotta like wiggle through the little jags. Well, I failed, but I still killed him, so it's okay. You won! 30 XP and 8 gold. What's my stat set? Oh yeah, my HP reset. So like, do I gotta heal? I need healing! The sign reads, Welcome to the Meeting Bridge. Meet up with lots of hot monsters in your area. A picture is attached to the sign. It's a picture of a weird looking monster. It has a number written on it. Next to the number it says, Call me. You decide not to call. <laughs> Poor monster. And I can't walk that way. Hey, this is a room that it affects genocide. I need to get the nobody came message. We're gonna do one or two fights here. Maybe three. And then we're gonna full on speed through them because they're last a while if it's in like Undertale. Guard dog blocks you from proceeding. I mean also it's I mean I I usually won't hit everything. And then shall pass. It's right, blue, you don't move. That's more of a I guess there's no message, so I guess more of that one is a... You gotta play Undertale to know what's going on. Alright, there's one. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do three, and then I'm gonna speed clip through them rest. Buggy bot waddles in. Death to Buggy bot. Guard dog blocks the way. Dun, 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 dun. Rejected. Yeah, um, depending on how long it's going to take, but if it gets too long, I'm just going to speed through them. Otherwise, you might sit with me. So I do one hit usually. Guard Dog's here a lot. God. Guard Dog is determined. I don't remember being this strong, actually. Halt, human. That was a terrible hit, but it still works. I want Spook's music back. Can Spook's come back? It's where he gets gone forever. Because Spook's music was awesome. No wintry! What you gonna do? Why you gonna do? You gonna stop me? No, you're not. Cause you're just a stupid dog. Frog it! Oh my god, you're back too! Wait, was, was that bug guy in Undertale? I can't remember. I know Kitty wasn't. But yeah, was Buggy Bot in there? I can't remember if he was or not. I know Frog it was for sure. He's like the first thing you fight. But I don't remember whether or not um, Buggy Bot was. Oh my god, we're in a fight. 8 XP and 10 gold. Oh my god. Just I love the little the square mouth opening whenever he's caught in a fight. I did like that. My room is getting hotted because it's the middle of the heat. And my fan's off, so my record my microphone doesn't just focus on the mic, not the mic, the fan. Guard dog randomly steps, and I fr I hit Z by accident. Okay, guard dog's dead, anyways. <laughs> it did not matter. Guard dog is gone. Steps in front of you and blocks your way. Well, that's pretty rude of him. That's what you get for being rude.
Buggy bot. Haven't <laughs> seen you in a while. Hmm. I wonder what weapons are pretty cool for our other world. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't mind the frying pan implemented in the game. That'd be a pretty cool weapon. Armor-wise, I'm not sure what would really work. I mean, there's plenty of armor things, I'm sure, because I... Oh god, I guess we triggered genocide, guys. That sound, the eyes, the fact that we look like we're going Super Saiyan. None other than we are genocide. But nobody came. Yeah, that was only like four minutes long fight, so that's not that bad. I remember in the Genocide for Undertales videos, I was like four hour recording, so I just kept killing everything. That's a creepy little model, but I did really like it. Save. This isn't curiosity. It's genocide. Can we go down? Nope, we're going up. And this little coat. The raincoat just goes red when you hit genocide. That should be pretty cool. I don't know. I didn't know really I paid attention. Did the did the shirt change color? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I should have been paying attention. I know, but I wasn't. Oh my god, that's a big room. Hello, you're here as well. Potentially three people are in this game from Undertale. You! What are you? You don't seem human. Why would you... Why would you kill her? She meant so much to me. And you... You think you are above everything. Oh? You think you can kill me? Well, you can't. Because I'm getting the hell out of here. Toodles! Nuh uh. Oh, yes, you are. Can I just go, like, off into the abyss? I'm going after you, Flowey! No, I'm not. Otherworld, but in the demo, demo. Hope you had fun! Well, as it says, I guess that's the end. Wasn't too long, good, if. 17 minutes for a genocide route, so, um, probably like a 13, 10 to 13 minute for a pacifist, but as I, I already told you guys, once the game gets fully released, I wanted to do, I'm going to be doing the genocide route, so I'm waiting on that, and I'm going to be treating the game, unless there's like a sp specific pacifist little thing he implements in for little Pete looks at, I'm going to be doing mainly the genocide related things. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, if you played the game and your feelings. Um, check out M36 Games' channel. He does it where he, as far as I know, he just mainly does videos about his games, which are still pretty cool update notes. There will be a link to it, this game. It'll be, there will be a link to M36 Games' channel, this game, and his game jewel account, tra uh, channel or account, whatever it's called. In the description below, so check them all those out if you want to play his games or check out what he does. It's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool guy. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. See you guys.